Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be going over Meta Honey Gel. But first, if you could hit the like and subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it does help my channel grow. So let's get started. So Meta Honey is an antimicrobial wound gel. So it is a topical that contains 100% medical grade Manuka honey. So in the actual container itself, it has 80% of the Manuka honey and 20% of a natural gelling agent for a more viscous formulation, okay? Um, and this allows the product to stay into the wound base a lot better um, than just the, the normal um, Meta Honey because it does, when it's mixed with Exidate, it does get absorbed into that top layer. So this just makes a more gelling agent so it sticks into the wound base a little bit better. Um, so it is an effective broad spectrum antimicrobial due to its low pH. Um, it does have a high osmolarity and this does help with debridement of necrotic and slough. Um, it also is an anti-inflammatory and it helps to uh, stimulate the immune system. And it might it may be used with uh, patients with diabetes as the honey does not interfere with their blood sugar levels. So indications for use. So this is an antimicrobial, so we want to be using it on a wound that is or does have an infection. Um, we can also use this on necrotic and sluffy wounds. Um, so either or, whether it has signs and symptoms of a local infection or necrotic tissue that needs to be debrided. Um, so we can also use this on tube drains and pin sites that are showing signs and symptoms of a local infection. Um, some precautions just to note, because it does have a low pH, it can cause stinging. Um, so if a patient has taken a pain medication and after 30 minutes, if it is still stinging, we need to remove the product and use something different that's not honey. Some people have this effect, some people don't. So it just completely depends on the patient themselves. Um, when we're using it for heavily exudating wounds, just because of its, um, its high osmotic effect, it can add additional volume to the exudate. So it can increase, which means we have to change the dressing more frequently. Um, some contraindications is just don't use this on patients who have an allergy or sensitivity to honey. So to apply, just like any other wound, we have to make sure the wound is clean before applying a product. Um, so just cleanse with normal saline um, and then dry the peri wound. And then if you need to, you can apply a skin barrier to the peri wound tissue. Next, we're going to make sure we put a label on the tube with the patient's name and the date that it was opened. You're going to remove the cap because there is a sterile steel seal underneath so that does need to be removed. Um, and then you're going to apply this gel directly to the wound base or to the primary dressing. So if you're applying it to the primary dressing, just make sure if a wound looks like this, this is what you're putting on um, the, the cover dressing and then it's applied directly to it. You want to make sure that the wound base is completely covered with that gel. Um, and it should be a three millimeter thick layer. Um, now, if you need a thicker layer, um, that's perfectly okay because you want to make sure that this isn't washed away by the amount of exudate coming out of the wound. So at least a three millimeter thick, if you have a higher amount of exudate, increase that. Okay, and then you're going to make sure that the gel is in full contact with the wound bed. If you're using it as a packing, you're going to butter it onto the ribbon using one ribbon and packing it nice and fluffy into the um, either undermining, sinus, track, tunnel, um, and then just make sure that you leave a tail so it is easily removed. After that, we're just going to apply an appropriate cover dressing to have a moisture balanced wound because we always want that just nicely moist wound. 
To remove this product, we are just going to gently remove that cover dressing. Um, if it's a little sticky on there, just get it soaked, saturated with normal saline and it will come off. Now, because this is a natural plant base, um, there is waxes and we want to make sure that this residue is all washed away. Okay, so just give it a really, really good wash after um, or during each dressing change before reapplying because we want to make sure that those waxes are gone. Um, the frequency of the dressing change, once again, is going to depend on um, how much exudate you have. So the product is good for up to seven days on the wound and it does have antimicrobial effects for up to seven days. Um, but if it's being washed away from the amount of exudate, we need to put more on. Um, the expected outcome is that if we're using it for an, a localized infection, that that's cleared up within two weeks. Um, or if we're using it as a debridement where, uh, for necrotic tissue, that is resolved within two weeks. Now, we can get this in a tube for 20 grams or a 10 gram tube. So that's all I have for this video. I hope this information did help you in your practice. And um, if you haven't done so already, if you could please subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated as it does truly help my channel grow. Um, so I will catch you in my next video and I hope you have a wonderful day. See you guys.